Dorothy and Prince are the only ones that understand Lucy. <laughs> So you see this video I just played for you guys here, it was this morning, okay? So I'm not really sure how we moved from that to this. I'm your friend, I'll try to tell you what's right for you, that's why I look out for you. But then I'm not blaming you, I'll condone your nasty nasty to you. Talk to something. What you did different is that you disobeyed the rules that the grief was given. Guys, it was a madhouse in Biggie's house earlier today and the reason I chose not to just come on here and be quick to say Oh yeah, Lucy did this again or oh yeah, Erica did this to Lucy or Erica I, I just didn't want to come on here to say that because I know that every single time there's a task that involves cash prizes and all of that The housemates are always very hyper, you know, their emotions are always very heightened because of course you want your team to win and all of that stuff Now I know some of you have questions, but I walk us the biggie Earlier today, yeah, the housemates got a brief and you know, they had a task for the Amatem soft gel the malaria drug and everything yeah cool now the housemates are supposed to split themselves into two groups and you guys know how they do it already the head of house will pick the deputy will pick up until all the housemates have been put into different groups and all of that cool now because there are 11 housemates left here we had six housemates on team one and five housemates on team two so let me just read out their names to you and explain how the problem started now for erica's team we had erica we had tricky t we had kid wire we had ozo we had nengi and we had lucy while for team two we had prince we we had Dorothy, we had Lacon, we had V, and we had Neil. Now, after they finish sharing themselves, Lucy's like, um, I don't want to be on the same group with Kidwire. I'm sorry. I don't want to be on the same group with the guy. And you guys know that the last time she and Kidwire were in the same group, they lost. And it wasn't even because, um, you know, one person was at fault. Both of them were at fault, as far as I'm concerned. For that Pepsi challenge, both of them forgot their lines. You know, they were just their chopping mouth and everything. And I told you how Lucy came down from the stage and started crying and all of that. So, of course, she didn't want a repeat of that. She just feels like Kidwire doesn't bring his best, you know, so she doesn't want to be in the same group with him. And that caused a lot of uproar in the house. You know, Prince was really mad, like, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? How come the head of house would choose something and you know the deputy would agree and you're here saying you don't want to be on the group? Is it because Biggie did not state it in the brief itself? What if Biggie had done that? And she's like, yeah, if Biggie had done that, maybe. But now we have a right to say, oh, I don't want to be on this group or I want to be on this group. And you know, Prince lost his cool. Neo lost his cool as well. Neo was just shouting today. I'm like, what? As they were shouting, Erica to now join in. That what is wrong with you? You have bad energy. You have bad energy. That's why nobody wants you on their team. This one, that one, that one. And then Lucy too was there giving them back. Now, this is not me coming to say, oh, this person was right and that person was wrong. No, that's not what this video is about. The point is, Lucy, we have established the fact that Lucy is a very difficult person. But let me also say something here. Yeah? When I work with somebody and I feel like mm, this person is not going to give me the energy I need, trust me. In all sincerity of heart, if you want to put me on the same team with the person again, there's going to be friction, okay? If I agree to do it, it's probably because I do not have a choice. And I feel like Lucy actually thinks that she has a choice, whereas she doesn't. You know, because this is Biggie's house, you don't really have the right to say, this is how I want it to be, or that is how I want it to be. Because guess what? If Biggie had come by himself to read out the names and everything, I don't think that Lucy would have had that kind of outburst saying, oh, she doesn't want to be in the same group with Kidwire. So again, I really don't know. I don't want to come on here to say, oh, Lucy shouldn't have said that, or, you know, Neo shouldn't have said the things they said, or Prince shouldn't have just had that kind of outburst trust me when you're upset you say things okay when you are upset trust me your tongue not be you get out now the vest get your tongue because mr bano say if i invest sometimes i know they feel control waiting at the top so i'm going to let that slide now the cocoa of this whole thing is that after the whole shouting 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 lucy ended up joining prince's group you know at the end of the day we now had five people in erica's team and six people in prince's team and all of that so after they finished the competition guess what just guess Princess team won the sum of 700,000 Naira. And of course, Lucy is going to be a part of that 700,000 Naira. You see, God, sometimes you just need to just shout so that your blessing will not pass you by. Now, wait till I pick from this thing today because if you say Lucy, just say, okay, make her just do that kid while I agree because I don't want to cause problem. 700k. I know she should get the whole 700 though. As in, the 700 is for the whole team and there are six, so they'll have to share it, you know, equally. So at least she knows say 100k go enter her account. So sometimes you need to be violent because they say what? The kingdom of God suffer it within. Suffer it violence. And without violence, no enter. So sometimes you need to shout so that your money not go pass you. Lucy, 
see that your shouts when you shout today, you carry gain come. So I do your side for today on. But that will not come and say any small thing with a shout because you like to the shout. So they talk like saying I lose any follow top for you. Anyways, guys, they are obviously going to have their wager task later tonight, and I'm definitely going to bring you guys a video after they are done. I feel like it's going to be hilarious because you know they've been giving me this whole touchy vibe. You know how touchy says, Where is my singlet? Oh god, go on market, pick two, pick two, go on market. So that's what they are going to be doing today. I know it's going to be very hilarious. I really cannot wait, even though I've already watched the Riazza from beginning to the end. I know it's the one show for there. But you know, when you're on stage, you go add more adjusta to the drama. So I must watch everything they want to do today. I don't know whether they will win. If they win, I'll come here and tell you now. Now, another thing I noticed today was Erica and Kidwaya having conversations about the future and all of that stuff. Now, when I say future, I'm not talking about marriage or anything. No, that's not what they were discussing. I did not hear that part, even if they they did discuss that i did not hear that part what i actually heard them discussing this evening was you know work stuff and all and kid where i said some things that just made me feel like mm, this guy this guy okay that one said day. you know he was like at some point he just really wants to plug people to the right sources people that are in the entertainment world he would like to plug them to the right directors you know right music producers and all of that someone like lecon he actually used lecon as an example he said he would like to see lecon go on different shows you know perform and do all of that stuff and he would not necessarily say oh once you're paid four million naira, you give me 50 percent of all of that that he doesn't want to do that because his dad also helped a lot of people while they were growing up and his dad never went back to them to say oh you owe me so you have to give me a certain amount of money or you have to do me this favor and all of that and to be honest guys that speaks a lot about his personality i get that he's a rich kid and all of that but he's not a sport brat so to speak you know there are people who do not even know the value of what they have and just about how to treat others but you know kid wire is not necessarily like that he would rather keep quiet than talk down on anybody for example you guys remember that night erica was complaining to kid wire about lecon and all of that he did not say a word i'm sure it's not because he didn't have anything to say but he just felt like him saying things might just make things worse so let him just calm down obviously when she's done talking to him about it she's going to be calm and that's all he wants he wants her to be calm he doesn't want to make things worse he doesn't want to put his own pepper into the already boiling stew and all of that so i don't know i just really like his personality when it comes to how he treats people and just about how he you know sees life you know sometimes you feel like oh this guy because he's rich he's going to say this or he's going to do this but he's not necessarily like that and i really really respect him for that anyways like i said i just came on here to give you guys an update of what has been happening in the house they had their attempt soft job presentation and also they've been rehearsing for their wager which is going to happen later tonight i really just thought to come here to mention the fight to you guys and let you in on what i think about it like i said the only thing i picked from this fight today is sometimes you need to be violent now the only thing when carry me come here come talk be that all right thank you guys so much for watching and i will definitely see you guys on the next one bye guys